I don't know. I liked feeling like I was getting better at something. Every time we went, yeah, it would be hard, but like I felt good and I felt like I could, you know, be better. I never thought I'd be where I'm at today. Like I never thought I would compete. Yeah. I just thought it would be for fun. And then, yeah. you know, you watch more YouTube videos. Yes. And all of a sudden you're watching 100 milers and oh, you're crying and I'm... you don't even know who these people are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you kind of wanted to just be a part of it. Welcome to another episode of the Live Around Balance Show. I'm your host, Kenneth Pinkney. Today's guest is a young woman. I like to say kind of a newbie to the Usher Trail Winter World, but it seems like she is a veteran in the Usher Trail Winter World for for some years, you know. Her short time out in the Usher Trail running scene the past three or four years, she had taken podium quite a few times and came in first overall, first female, numerous times. Uh, such as 2019, uh, the fall back Vlad trail run, 50K first overall, was set a course record, four hours and 35 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the Golden Gate 30, 30, 50K, second female, first or first usher, if I'm not mistaken, six hours and 24 minutes. Um, in 2020, the Indian Creek 50, 55K, first female, second overall, and she set a course record, five hour and 46 minutes. Then in 2021, Bryce Canyon Archer, 50 miler, second female, fourth overall. Uh, then the latest uh, race in this year, 2022, uh, the Gorge Waterfall 100, uh, 100 crate, first female. And then she set a course record, I'm mistaken, fifth overall. Nine hour and 34 minutes. And she also coached by the legend, Miss uh, Megan Roach, Team Swamp. So, yes, she has, uh, yes, also she has a day job as well uh, sport medicine, uh, rehab, uh, physical therapy. And also, she work at Children's Hospital in the Colorado Sport Medicine Department. So, I got all that, all that correct. Yeah, you you got all uh, all the highlights. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to get some all porn stuff also. She also loved candy, like she liked candy like every day. All right. <laughs> also, did a little bit of reading and gardening and enjoy baking. So, family, let welcome the up and coming <laughs> superstar and in, in, in the making of the Usher Chair Winter World, Miss Hannah. And all good. It is all good for you right now. It's all good. It's That's all good. good. So how are you doing today? Doing good. Yeah, it's a, just a Monday. So Mondays are my off day. So mm -hmm. I didn't run at all today. I did some strength and then 10-hour okay. work day. And oh, wow. here we are. Oh, wow. 10-hour work day. Oh, man. Um, yeah. But you can handle that. I mean, you'll utter run. You can handle that. <laughs> No. Yeah, it goes it goes pretty quick with patience, so yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. so bad. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 that's cool. That's cool. And you be pretty pretty strong too. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's cool. So uh, thank you for being on the Run Balance Show. And so and I know I've not taken notice of you. Um, you know, you had you come out come across you. I come across most of my my guests on, on social media. You call my attention. And to uh, the wind, uh, Gorge Waterfall 100K, and to like, okay, I got to reach out to her. <laughs> See, you know, that's my death. Yeah. And so I think most everybody know who you are right now. They will get to know you some more, you know. But we want to go, we want to take it back a little bit, take, just, just take it back just a little bit. So you, you kind of is a newbie, you know, in, 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 uh, in the Ultra Trail Winter World, like I mentioned before. before. But take us to your journey your life before trail running? Yeah, um, I kind of, I would say, stumbled upon trail running a little bit, um, mainly because of my husband. Uh, I had yeah. in in high school, kind of classic, hated running. I only <laughs> did it when my coach would yell at me or like forced us to run. And yeah. I mean, I played soccer, so you run, but you don't like, I didn't go for a run type yeah. of situation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I didn't start really like running for fun until my senior year of high school. And then okay. kind of just 
fun and then met my husband and he was really the one that wanted to do the trail running and mm -hmm. so basically he's like well hiking just takes a while we should start trail running and so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> we we just kind of started running and then kind of the same thing happened with ultras that first yeah. trail running was yeah. just terrible and i was slow and i was like this is just awful yeah, <laughs> um yeah. and then he wanted to do a trail race and so he did a trail race and then i signed up after him and then from there i was like oh we should like do this and same kind of situation he um yeah. wanted to do an ultra first and then yeah. i was like well if you're signed up for one i'll sign up for one and then that's <laughs> kind of just how it happened and then kind of yeah. the first one was a pretty pretty tough one yeah. the the dirty 30 was the first one and has yeah. quite a bit of climbing for a 50k yeah, um yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was a little bit of a knock in the teeth to be honest uh, yeah, well, well. i was like what am i doing but then uh yeah. after you finish it there's not you know i i probably i think i cried that first day finishing it you know just yeah, like yeah. what did i just do even though i walked yeah. A couple yeah. miles and yeah, or yeah. maybe not a couple miles but like yeah. you know a lot at the end yeah. <laughs> because yeah. i was like how do people run more and then yeah just kind of wanted to see what i could do and then yeah. just kind of kept going from there so yeah okay so um i just growing up like as i you know, as a kid you know you see from wisconsin right so mm -hmm. it was always in like active you know and just sports and like that as growing up as a kid yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so i played soccer year round was kind of like my main sport that i played right. so um i joined a travel team and so mm -hmm. i played all fall and then yeah. i didn't play in the winter because i played yeah. basketball um yeah. that was kind of probably my my ultimate yeah. love of my sport as a youth was yeah. playing basketball and then okay. uh, nice. yeah and then we just played soccer year round and that's about kind of all of it and then yeah eventually fell into running but yeah. I did not like it. <laughs> uh, so you didn't so, like, like, you know, like running. And, uh, no. Until you move, until you end up moving to Colorado, correct? You know? Well, a little bit. I mean, I started running early college in like the last okay. year of my okay. senior year. And, mm -hmm. and I told my dad, I was like, maybe I'll join cross country for my senior year. Okay. Be like, get in shape for basketball and yeah he's like you're not a distance runner you should probably not do that i was no, like no. Oh, okay so then i just didn't i would run like maybe a mile a day my senior yeah. year yeah. in the yeah. fall getting ready yeah. for basketball yeah. but yeah. nothing beyond that i thought it was a lot farther but it ends yeah. up there's about a mile <laughs> so okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so um so your husband gil so he, he kind of got you you started you know, you know, so your first in initial, like say, trail run, how do you know that was something that you want to pursue more of, you know? Yeah, uh, well, my first ever trail run, I said I never wanted to trail run again. <laughs> so, okay, okay, okay. so it took a long time. I mean, I think, yeah, the first one we went, we took this trail that's pretty steep and really hot in Colorado. Yeah. And yeah. um I just remember walking it and like was just wanted to be done and thought it was terrible. But then yeah. it kind of just, you know, it slowly as we would go hike and then we would like run down from the hike or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um and the first couple of times I did that, I mean one time I was in Rocky Mountain National Park and I yeah. I had a backpack on and we're running down and I yeah. tripped and I yeah. got so mad and I was like this is the worst. What are we doing? Yeah, um yeah, but then it yeah. just it just kind of kept happening because he wanted yeah. to run and yeah. so I wanted to spend time with him. And so then yeah. it's kind of like you're forced into it almost. And then yeah. um, I just kind of found it was really cool because um, I think as a female athlete that is yeah. an adult, it's hard to find competitive outlets, um, mm -hmm. meaning it's hard for me to find like an all women's soccer league yeah. or an all women's yeah. basketball league. And yeah. I'm pretty small. So like, okay. you know, I'm, I'm five five so you know playing with all men at the gym is not really my ideal situation because yeah, i'm yeah, little yeah, yeah. you know yeah. um and yeah. so then he just kind of wanted to do more and then i liked that i was like actually like i don't know i liked feeling like i was getting better at something um yeah, yeah. Okay, and yeah. so every time we went yeah it would be hard but like i felt good and i felt like i could 
you know, be better? Did I ever, I never thought I'd be where I'm at today. Like I never thought I would compete. Yeah. I just thought it would be for fun. And then, yeah. you know, you watch more YouTube videos, yes. and all of a sudden you're watching hundred milers and oh, you're crying and I'm, you don't even know who these people are, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you kind of wanted to just be a part of it. Um, yeah. and it, yeah, it just kind of became the one outlet I had to be competitive, um, and still see progress, but like, yeah. Yeah, just something. And I think in Colorado, you know, there's so many good options. And yes. once you get into it, it's hard to s- stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. I know. yeah, yeah. So you, 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 you was able to find like a, a trail running community to be a part of, we, you know, in Colorado to kind of, kind of help you out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the, the trail community is definitely like really growing in Colorado. Um, mm-hmm. At first, and you know, at first I didn't know anybody. I like barely was on Strava. I like yeah. didn't know the trails. I thought I was going to get eaten by a mountain lion every oh. day, you know? So, um, yeah. but now it's, it's been really cool because I've been able to get to know people more in the trail yeah. community. Yeah. Um, yeah. And even in the, in the Springs, uh, Aravita moved to Colorado Springs yeah. or they have another office here. And so yeah. it just keeps growing and so seeing the community grow and even all the amazing people I've met across the country it's really yeah. cool because you can pretty much go anywhere and uh-huh. meet someone and yeah. the yeah. trail community I would say is like the most welcoming and so yeah. it's like hey I'm gonna be in Portland you know let's get a run or who's doing a run on Tuesday <laughs> and so um yeah it's been really fun to grow that community and just yeah. see it kind of boom over time and um, yeah, I, I love getting to know people. And yeah. I think for me, I just getting people excited about trail running, like it yeah. doesn't matter the level, but like, if you're yeah. out getting some exercise, having fun, yeah. like that's, that's what it's about. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You have fun. Um, and then 2019, that was, it turned, was fun, but it turned to more like competition. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah well, yeah. Yeah, 2019 was kind of interesting because I mean that was the first year that I yeah. ever ran. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh wow. Um, yeah, well, like a race, I should say, you know, like mm-hmm. actually competing. And um, you know, the the fallback blast was just like a local race uh in yeah. Wisconsin that was super fun that yeah. my parents had never seen me run and they knew oh. I was doing all this stuff. And yeah. so yeah. that was still 2019, I think is still like figuring out am yeah. I good at this or like, yeah. do I like this? Yeah. Like, should I keep going? Yeah, um, yeah. So it's been, it's been a really interesting growth process over the last couple of years, because I think yeah. um, I'm slowly trying to do, I think originally just doing races to feel comfortable and then now uh-huh. slowly kind of upping the ante and going yeah. to harder, harder races, more yeah. competitive fields versus yeah. Uh, before I was just like, I don't belong on the start line. Like, what am I doing? Um, so yeah, it's been a pretty, pretty fun journey. And I know, I guess I have, I have a lot to learn. So I think that's the other thing is the cool thing is there's always things to learn. You can always get better. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's just the start of some fun times. (laughs) So what do your parents say now that they've seen, could you mention before, yeah, you're damaged that you're not good at long distance running, something like that, right? So, what yes. do your dad say now about you running that? You're... <laughs> well, it's pretty funny, but yeah, so I, I mean, I ran track in middle school, like yeah. I did the 100 and the 200 meter okay. dash, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and that's where my dad was like, You're a sprinter, you know, and <laughs> all this stuff, and you know, so that's kind of funny. And and yeah. now it's, I think they're obviously they support me, yeah. um, but yeah. I think they're a little bit like, wow, like, I'm, this is a crazy thing you're doing. And they still, they still think it's like pretty, you know, like what in the world? I can't believe you're doing that. But also uh-huh. like uh-huh. they, they they watch all of my races and nice. they watch my recaps and they, awesome. you know, anything they can track, they track yeah. and they yeah. always yeah. are like, good luck. And so they fully support me. I think it's just, <laughs> more ironic that my dad was like yeah you don't want run long distance so <laughs> now it's it's a little bit I like to tease him I usually say oh yeah I'm really really bad I should definitely be a sprinter if I was a sprinter I'd be in the Olympics which yeah. is not true so yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's funny yeah yeah um so during a short time you really had 
you really done pretty well for yourself. <laughs> but you know, you can now come out and help. You know, everybody need help. You know, going to get to where they need to be at. So tell about your coach, you know, Mega Roach, and how she helped you and your stellar running career so far. Yeah, so um, Megan is actually a newer coach. So we, I started with Megan last July. Um, okay. So, uh huh. So right before Never Summer, and I think the big thing, um, my coach prior was awesome. Um, okay. I really enjoyed her time, and yeah, I, yeah. I think, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I need someone to guide me. Um, yeah. And then kind of, I felt like I wanted to kind of up the ante a little bit and yeah. really see. And I think. Um, from me, I've never had a running coach prior. So it was kind of yeah. like figuring out, like, I don't even know what I'm doing. So yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Um, but yeah, I, re I reached out to Megan, um, and David, and then yeah. kind of had just known about them and seen their athletes really thrive. And yeah. so it was more about reaching out to them to see like, will you accept me please? <laughs> like, you know? Um, and so that was kind of funny, but oh, yeah. yeah. And so I think in the last gosh, now, yeah. I don't know how many months this is eight, nine months. Like yeah. I've just really seen um, my development. And a lot yeah. of that is just, they have a way of really linking the science up with what they're doing as mm -hmm. well as making it individual. And I think mm -hmm. she really hears me on like, Hey, I'm not good at xyz thing and mm -hmm. like how can i get better at that yeah. um yeah. and i think that really that open communication and i think my style as well as i like constructive criticism when i yeah. know it's going to make me better so i'm like tell yeah. me what to do yeah. how do i make it better um but yeah and so the, she's been really integral and i think the other big thing that she and david do is they're really positive overall yeah. um yeah. and i think it's really easy in the running world or just life in general to yeah be upset or negative or like, I shouldn't be here or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and I think they've really changed my mindset of like believing in myself. And yeah. maybe that means I want to race. Maybe that means I DNF, but yeah. either way, like go out there and have fun yeah. and know you're cap awesome. like capable of doing it. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, she's really been so influential on so yeah. many levels and yeah. just even her science background, like, obviously yeah. I like nerd out all the time. I'm like, did you listen to this thing? Or like, Hey, I read this in some yeah. science journal. Yeah. Like, yeah, what yeah. do you think? So yeah, yeah. that's pretty fun too. Okay. Yeah. So you can relate in a science, both of y'all can relate in a science level also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. they're, they're pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, it's just a mindset, you know, just really, you believe for yourself, believe you can do it, you know, believe it's possible, you know, and sometimes you doubt yourself what you could do, you know? So you you doubt, you doubt yourself, even though you were like Randy Racer or uh, Finn and Top Five, you still do have doubts about you belong, you belonging? Oh, yeah. I think um, I think this year or two, uh, like 2022 as a year, was going to be a season where I'm really um, entering some unknown territory <laughs> as far mm -hmm. as like, racing against a lot of pro athletes and a lot mm. of sponsored athletes and, mm. um, not being sponsored, like not yeah. knowing, like, yeah. can I even hang with them or like, yeah. you know, I don't know. Um, and so I think going into this season, I, I mean, I talked to her about it and my friends I was like, you know, I've had some success, which is awesome, but I yeah. could go into this season and never win a race or do terrible mm. or, you know, never finish top 10 or anything like that. Um, because I just am kind of trying to see what I can do. Mm. Um, but yeah. And so I think that too, she just was really integral of like, you belong here, yeah. you know, believe in yourself and like, yeah. you can do this. And yeah. I think that was really, really helpful because I mm -hmm. think, yeah, it really, the races all depend on, again, like your competition in them. And this mm. year there's just really hard competition. And yeah. I think in general, you know, trail running is getting more and more competitive. And yeah. so yeah. Yeah. like women and men included, we're all getting faster and getting yeah. fitter. And it's yeah. like all of a sudden, you know, you've got all these amazing athletes on the yeah. trails. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think, so, and I, I think the other thing for myself, you know, I, I'm not being in a track background. I think I get a little bit, um, 
nervous when you mm. know you see all these women you're racing against that have been one mm. doing ultras for years yeah. and two yeah. like yeah. or d1 track athletes i'm like yeah. i don't you know i've never ran a 5k in my yeah. life like i don't know so yeah. i think there's just a lot of like self-doubt that way because yeah. it is something that is so new um yeah. and just like yeah i don't have a hit i mean i haven't been been doing this since 2019 it hasn't mm. been that long and so mm just that experience alone. I think mm -hmm. I just have, I get nervous just like yeah. anybody else. So, yeah. 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 But I think slowly it's, um, getting to be more confident and yeah, really yeah, confident yeah. in my skills, but also yeah. know I have a long way to go. Yeah, so. definitely. No, I mean, I think that the, when your latest little race, no, definitely a like, yeah, boost of confidence that you do belong, you know, mm -hmm. you can compete at, at part at the highest level. And so, yeah, yeah, so it's a definite more prop to you on that. Yeah, so, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you do have a life outside of running, <laughs> you know. Uh, you, you're a physical therapist, you know. You work at a German hospital. How reward are both of these jobs for you? And how do you manage the job along with your running career? Yeah, so um i think the one i have a pretty interesting work schedule in okay. general um i shouldn't i shouldn't say it's not that interesting but um yeah. because so i work at the children's hospital like you said and in yeah. the sports medicine department and so yeah. part of that is you have to work later in the day because we okay. don't want all these youth athletes getting pulled out of school so okay. yeah. um i work four tens so i always have fridays off which is great yeah. um, but oh. you know i work i work work basically 10 15 until 7 p.m and so okay. there's a positive in the sense that i don't have to you know get up at four to run in the morning <laughs> um but then i also i don't really have time for doubles or anything like that so yeah. usually everything has to get front loaded on the okay. day which again allows me um a little bit more time in the morning to train but yeah. also again like there's less leeway to like run in the morning and lift at night or yeah. do a double um but yeah. overall i think yeah i've learned that i can wake up early but i don't have to get up at like five to run which is great yeah. <laughs> so yeah. i think that would make it a lot harder if i worked at 8 a.m for a day so yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's hard wake up early morning early. yeah i wake yeah. up like four or i wake up four o'clock to go like a five thirty <sighs> or so it's just it's hard. I gotta, I gotta be disciplined. Go to, go to bed on like me. Yeah, yeah. Usually, I, I try to get up at six thirty, and that's early enough yeah. for me. I'm like, yeah. I can't get up earlier than that. Yeah. So yeah. 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 <laughs> then I gotta get ready for work. But sometimes I work from home, and sometimes I gotta. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. It is, it's hard when I'm early. But which yeah. you up, you glad you did, you know. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you never, you never regret it. It's just the initial getting up early oh, no. that's the challenge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're, 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 we're cool. And so, yeah, but, but how rewarded is your job, you know, work, doing the work you do, you know? Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I honestly don't think I could have a more perfect job for yeah. me. Um, yeah, working with youth athletes, I think one, you know, keeps you young, keeps you moving, but okay. also just they, uh, they're really inspiring to yeah. help people. I think, I mean, the whole reason I became a physical therapist was to help people get back to what they want to do. And yeah, I think there's, there's nothing more rewarding to me than, um, you know, the first day a kid has a surgery and they can't yeah. even like lift their leg. And then, mm. you know, six months later, they're on the basketball court or whatever like yeah. that. And so yeah. Yeah. I think it's, you, how could you not, um, feel special to be part yeah. of someone's journey to yeah. get back from an injury but also yeah. just you know unfortunately i only get to see these kids for a short time but they have a huge impact on my own life and so yeah, yeah. yeah there's hard days of course and yeah. there's lots of lots of tears a lot of yeah. weeks but yeah. Yeah. you know at the end of the day the it's really cool to see the kids get back to what they want to do and yeah. being able to watch them play their sport or do whatever they want to do you know whether yeah. that just yeah do the incline or go for a walk or, yeah. you know, I do their dance recital, anything like that. Yeah. Um, That's cool. I think it's just motivating always. And again, yeah. like put your mind to something and you can get it done and yeah. trust the people around you to help you get there. So, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Like you had to trust your coach, trust your, your husband, Gil. He kind of, yeah, he helped you 
he's, he's like, or like during your race, he's like a for your crew or pacer sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Gil is pretty much always there as my like he's been there my pacer a couple of times. He's always there as my crew. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, last summer when I did my first hundred k, I, mm -hmm. I literally saw him with his pacer bib and just like started crying because I was so happy to see him. I was like, oh nice. my gosh, mm -hmm. I can't run anymore. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean his his support has been great and even mm -hmm. just allowing me to spend time on the trails. But yeah. Gil really. Um, he's pretty integral into my overall performance. Like he yeah. could not run for six months and still beat me up a mountain. And so uh, for me, it's great. Cause I, I always know he's going to push me and that has really like made me better. Cause I just try yeah. to keep up with him and usually yeah. I fail, but it's a good test to, to work hard. And so, yeah, he's really been a huge, yeah. huge part of my success that people probably yeah. don't get to see all the time. So. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I was the person in the background that, you don't see, but it played an important part of your success, mm -hmm. you know, anybody's success, you know, so yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's true. So I guess he's pretty, pretty good trail runner himself, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. We are just putting a training plan. I'm putting a little training plan together for him. He did his first 50K um, last October. He gets okay. he gets pretty busy because he right now he's doing another degree and then he wow. coaches high school wrestling oh, and wow. also yeah. works. So yeah. he's yeah. pretty much yeah. really busy all the time. Oh, wow. So yeah. 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 Unfortunately, sometimes running gets really pushed on the back burner when yeah. you're you're working and school and yeah, coaching. No. Um, no. But yeah, he uh, I'm excited for him to whenever he gets back into it, because, yeah, he's he is uh, he's really talented and okay. um, it's fun to fun to watch him just crush it, even when he's not even trained up. So, yeah, it's just, it's just natural just like that. Uh -huh. that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's, that's cool. Um, what have you learned from running Usher or Marathon and that have you out in everyday life? Oh, man. Um, a lot of things, but I think a lot is like persistence yeah. um, and discipline. I think a lot of times, you know, when people see that you run or see yeah. that you're consistently working out, they're like, oh, well, you like it. It's like, yeah. well, some days I'd rather stay in bed. Like, yeah. yeah, I like it. But also, like, I think just that persistence and discipline, like, plays a big role across the board because a lot of life is like, if you just keep going, it'll get better, you yeah. know? Um, and I think that really kind of trickles across the board of all the things we do, whether it's yeah. house projects, whether it's just like, yeah. you know, I don't know, any, any little thing we like to yeah. do, saving yeah. money, budgeting or whatever. Like, yeah. I think it really has taught me to also, I think, um, our life, you know, we get a lot of instant gratification and really trying to look at a secondary thing. Cause yeah. running is cool because, you're going to get better when you keep going. And that's, yeah. again, that's the same thing. A lot of times, like if you would have just yeah. the first day I did that trail run, if I would have never gone again, yeah. we would not be sitting here talking. Absolutely. Um, and so I think that's really a lot of things in life is sometimes it makes you uncomfortable and sometimes it's yes. hard, but like yeah. it'll be worth it, whatever it is, if you yeah. want it to happen. So. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Definitely. You know, some, yeah. And they're never, never easy, you know, but it, it, it's, it's worth it, you know. You, you gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta, gotta put, gotta push too, you know. Yeah. yeah so you, exactly. You, you never know what possible, you know, to, to, you know, mm -hmm. um, put yourself out there, you know. Yeah. So you that point. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I think it just it, it's relevant across the board, whatever it is. Like, yeah. whether that's be good at cooking, you know, you're not gonna. Yeah. Yeah. The first day you kick and you boil noodles, who knows? And then it's like, okay, well, next let's make mac and cheese or something. You know, mm -hmm. you're just gonna get the getting better at it if you yeah. keep going. So yeah, this, this is the definitely you know, on a lot of note with that, you know, cooking, you know, you so you like to bake, you know. What, what do we do? What do you like to bake? What do you bake? <laughs> uh all things <laughs> but, okay. okay yeah but um let's see this last past weekend i made um these like apple or not apple raspberry crisp bars so basically the base was like a shortbread and then yeah. we did a raspberry jam mm. and like a crumble mm. on top okay. so that was okay. last week um okay. nice. but yeah usually 
cookies, brownies, uh, pretty much anything. My growing up, my mom always had a dessert ready. So uh, uh, <laughs> I kind of have, I blame her for my sweet tooth. And then okay. kind of what I like to, I always like to bake something. It's pretty relaxing to me. So okay. yeah, cupcakes or, uh, you know, anything like that. Yeah. So, so how, how do you, how do you race you now and all that? You, know, you, you order that, you, you bake you now? You, you know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even when I don't race, I eat all of that. So <laughs> it's a lot of lot of a uh, lot of sugar consumption in the all good household. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that's cool, you know. And so you also you are obsessed with candy. You had to have candy yes. over there. Uh, yeah. Today, let's see. What did I have today? I had jelly beans today, as well as uh, two like Reese's pieces yeah, or yeah, like yeah. Reese's cups. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I had a lot of candy, and my one of my patients today actually brought me a bag of gummy bears for fun. <laughs> so I, everybody keeps me very stocked on the candy supply. Uh, we have a entire bin in our. Uh, in our house, in our little pantry, it's just mm. like this big thing full of candy. So, uh, yeah, we big sweet tooth uh, all okay. of the time. <laughs> oh, okay, and okay. I like get a little, a little uh, the extra um, sugar pick me up. They're probably yeah. going to also. They're going to be running also. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my sister, my sister had one of my sisters has two sons, and she always gets them gummy bears and she tells them they're my secret weapon so yes. they can have them so yeah so it's kind of becoming a, a little bit of a joke in my family but my mom sends me you know four pound bags of gummy bears every couple of months so yeah, yeah with all of the candy uh, all of the uh, time okay. <laughs> well, probably need to get gummy bear to come to come to, to, put, to promote you or, or or something like that sponsor you yeah, okay. if any if any uh, gummies ever or any candy companies ever want to sponsor me, I will be the best ever. I'll eat all of it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's cool. That's cool. So you complete a race now. Where day you run? Uh, you 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 got win and go to your waterfall hundred k. So what's your next race? We next, you know, you're you going to like going to go longer distance, like you're going to yeah. like rest of state, rest of state. Or oh, Coca Donut 250 was going on right now, <laughs> or Hard Rock 100, or the UTMB races. Or what, what we got next? What your vision? What your goals? Yeah. Um, the so Coca Donut any 250. I am not interested. <laughs> not yet. Those guys are amazing. I. Yes. Whew, that's hard. I think I really. Uh, I also think I. I really, really like the like running the whole race type of situation. Yeah. So man, 250 is know, a long crazy. way, but know. who knows? Maybe in a couple of years yeah, I'll be into yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we've got currently a couple 50 milers on the schedule and then okay. another another hundred K. And okay. um, I haven't quite decided on even the hundred mile distance. Um okay. I'm I'm interested, but I am not sure uh, okay. of the of the hundred mile distances though. I think the races that really like I would be more interested in running like um, Ure 100 or Hard Rock 100. Yeah, that super Hard Rock 100 would be an ultimate goal race okay. for sure. Okay, um, just because it's it's a hard race. <laughs> it's a, you know like it's beefy, but I think if I if I finish that, I think that also is like a, probably a little bit more towards what I'm interested in, kind okay. of more that that mountain terrain is yeah, a lot yeah. more of what I enjoy. Okay. Um but yeah, I think that's right around the corner in the next yeah. couple of years. Where I just yeah. have to kind of decide yeah. when yeah. I want to put my body through that so yeah. we'll see but yeah. uh yeah. i might be going to hopefully maybe go to western states this year just to support and yeah. see because it's such a cool community and it is. you know yeah. now i've met uh quite a few of the the people that are competing and just nice. Nice. it'd be fun to support all of them because it's oh, such yeah. an amazing feat so yeah, the yeah. Definitely, i haven't went yet i would love to go down to just to read a see and be a spectator spectator but just the view you know yeah, uh -huh. so just, and check them out. It'd be, it'd be great, you know. Yeah. 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 So this so is definitely. So you like the hard races, huh? Like the, the go <laughs> race right now. Yeah, I think I. I mean, I like them all, but I think uh, I think some of the like 
grittiness yeah, needed in some yeah. of those. And obviously, like if you're doing 100 miles or 100K, like, yeah, there's those are hard no matter what. So like, it doesn't yeah, really yeah. matter the terrain, but yeah. I also think living in Colorado, like those higher above tree line races, yeah. I think are really cool. And I think just a, another element to add to your training. Yeah. Um, and you know, who knows, I could never finish hard rock, you know, that's, it's a hard, it's a hard race. Um, yeah. but I think having that also local is pretty cool or yeah, local yeah. relatively to the state. Um, yeah. or like the same thing with like your Ray 100. I mean, yeah. I've run on some of those trails up there and it's just so beautiful and yeah. I'm not down there enough. And so I think that, but because they are more mountainous, you know, that's also another element of like, yeah. you know you're out there for at least a day basically yeah, which is yeah. a long time to be running yeah. um yeah. so yeah i think I, i'm interested but we'll we'll see and i think That's it'll cool. also kind of in the next year year or two kind of really mm -hmm. seeing where my strengths lie yeah. because i i still feel like i don't really know like <laughs> i I, okay. I think i know but who yeah. knows you know so yeah, yeah. yeah. okay well you're doing pretty well so far hey, you know. <laughs> yeah so hey. Yeah. Yeah. So, so so far, what have been your greatest joy in your short but amazing running career? Oh man, um, my greatest joy. Uh, I mean, I think it would be easy to say like winning Gorge One Hundred K. Like that's yeah. a huge uh, joy. Oh, yeah. But I, but I think bigger than that is um, honestly like the community of people that I've been able to meet. Yeah. Um, yeah just I think the neatest thing about ultras is no matter where you finish and no matter who you are um people just support you because you're like what are we doing like this is crazy like we're running you know 100 kilometers like why are we doing this um and I think that has been really cool because most of my friends now are trail runners and really bringing that community together I think is really really special and invaluable um really and I think that's probably like my greatest joy is being able to like just meet more people and yeah. promote it and exactly. just mm -hmm. yeah get to I love hearing people's stories and I think yeah, that's more special than maybe the wins and losses but yeah. just getting to meet people that enjoy the same stuff you do and Absolutely. also support everyone that does it so yeah yeah I totally I totally agree you know I enjoy, mm -hmm. I, I enjoy meeting people connecting people and uh, do a simple thing I ask running, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, it seems like it's so simple. I mean, not mm -hmm. all simple, but just not running can connect people, you know, uh, near and far, you know. Mm -hmm. but yeah, mm -hmm. so I just said that. Uh, yeah, so I just did what I'm doing right now, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so, I totally agree. <laughs> yeah, so, definitely. Uh, so, Bob, I talk about a little bit, but what keep you going, like motivated to do what you do, especially when you're running or oh, life get tough? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I was thinking about this because you kind of had asked me and I was like, man, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> but I think a lot of it, um, I had brought this uh, quote up um, on the ginger runner, but um, yeah. the quote like later becomes never. I think, yeah. you know, I think it's really easy um, to assume you always have a tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think just knowing like, it's not guaranteed, uh, is really, obviously that's a little scary, but also mm -hmm. like, you know, when you wake up in the morning trying to like, just mm -hmm. keep, what can I do today? Um, yeah. as well as like, how can I push myself today and make today a, a good day essentially? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. and yeah, that's, this doesn't get you through all the time, but I think yeah. also being my mom, my mom always tells me, she's like, I could complain, but it wouldn't help anything. And so <laughs> that's kind of like my motto for life of like, mm -hmm. yeah, obviously I, I still get upset, but really mm -hmm. like thinking about like, why am I upset? And typically it's like, I don't even remember what I was upset about last week. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. trying to enjoy each moment, like it's precious and yeah. like do what I can with the time given to me. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's, I think it's pretty, I don't want to say simple, but simple in the sense that like, you know, 
you wake up and put your best foot forward and yeah. do things that you love every single day because who knows when you're not going to have another one. So yeah, yeah. just uh, not not taking for granted, not taking the what you could do for granted. You know exactly. Uh, yep. Yeah, even when you get tough, I guess no, just um, but um. Yeah, and I think uh, you know I'm I'm 30 years young, but you yeah. know those 30 years went really fast. So know. it's uh, you know yeah. really uh, really trying to enjoy every like I said enjoying every day, and yeah. I'm just grateful that I can even you know run and do those things because yeah. you know maybe one day I can't, and yeah. hopefully that's not for 100 years or so. But yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think just having a grateful be gracious and be grateful for what you have. And yeah, then yeah, you're yeah. only going to want to try to get better at it. And yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so that same question, that part of your balanced motivation thought also? I will ask you what your balanced motivation and thoughts. Yeah. So I think, you know, my other motivation, kind of like I had mentioned earlier, is I, yeah. I was really competitive as a kid. And yeah. I think, um, I, this is kind of funny to think about now, but like, for example, like my, my basketball team, um, yeah. you know, I wouldn't, sometimes I was so caught up on making sure that everybody liked me on the team that I like yeah. wouldn't shoot the ball as much or like uh, would try to like, you know, not do something. And so I think really like, okay, like looking at it a little bit more of a lens of like, okay, this is a time. Cause I, you know, I can't get those, the, those times back. And so really trying to focus on again, what can I do today that can make me better as well as like, I don't want to be thinking about what I would have done. Um, and so, yeah, just pushing it a little bit further and also just, I don't know, trail running is great because I get to go outside and it's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just, yeah. it's just fun to be out there knowing, um, that it all, I'll enjoy it. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. That really pretty cool. <laughs> um, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and just to thank you for this uh, this opportunity, you know, for uh, for joining me and the Lara Run Balance family. Yeah. And just uh, it was great. Just uh, just have the opportunity just to really get to know a little bit more and uh, hopefully everybody else. Um, not sure you're going to have more interviews when come along. Can that to uh, you continue your running career? <laughs> yeah, 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 hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. So, definitely. So definitely, it was great. So thank you for the time. Well, and thanks for thanks for having me. It's been yes, great uh, chatting, and you get to listen to me ramble on a bunch. So. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, definitely. No, no, no doubt. It was good. It was good. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And, just and I cool. hope you, uh, oops, sorry. No, go sorry, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. no, I was just saying, I just hope that you continue to like grow, grow this podcast. And I'm excited to see all the stuff that you get to do and in your running career as well. And we didn't get to talk about you a bunch, but I would love to hear more about that someday too. So, yeah, yeah. hopefully so. No, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm trying, trying to grow my running career. You know, it take me probably, you know, I need to, I'm going to need to get a, a coach myself. I don't have a coach. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, I know, but, awesome. uh, yeah, so hopefully, you know, to do more races, you know, and see what, I, I, what more I'm capable of doing, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, no doubt. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. again, thank you. And thank you, Live From Balance family, for joining me for another episode of the Live From Balance show. Live a life beyond the boundary you set on yourself. And for Hannah for showing on uh, going beyond her boundary or uh, her maybe her lack of self-confidence. And it's showing that, you know, that she capable more than she probably ever thought she could have do. You know, mm -hmm. she's definitely a great example of that. So 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 yeah, so thank you thank you for showing that. You know, uh, yeah, until then, again, it's next time, family. <laughs>